Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, back to an exciting and very requested vlog. I mean very requested because you guys think I live like a pig, kind of do, um, but just quickly, what is... <laughs> You're getting chased by D? You get <laughs> Run! Hannah has uh, temporarily moved to the yard just behind those trees and now she thinks it's socially acceptable to just walk across the field. Just turn up whenever she pleases. Every time I walk, regret it. Right, let's get into the video. <laughs> Okay, so as I said, very requested vlog this one. We live in a functional barn. Hannah, don't pull that face. Sometimes when you're living in a barn every day, for the horses, nine horses, it gets a little bit mucky and things get a little bit disorganized. So you can see we've got the, uh, the rug thing there. We've got my rugs here, all these uh, lovely coats that are just hung up there. So you guys don't like that, you've been, quite frankly, saying some mean things about it. But today, it's all coming down and, drum roll please, pardon the pun, because uh, they have drums. We've got a washing machine! So this little bad boy here, let me talk you through her. She is a Cater Wash from Cater Quick. 18 kilograms of pure washing machine goodness. Very, very lucky. I was complaining. Uh, washing machines oh my god, they're in... That is exactly what I need. At least mum um, would stop screaming at me for putting uh, numbers in the family one at home. About all of the disgusting rugs I have. And I'm not being funny, we are going to count them in a minute, but to get these sent away to be washed, how much would that cost? A lot. Two or three grand? Yeah. There are a lot, a lot of rugs and we need to yeah we do need to sort through them some of them are going to be donated to a charity because i don't know if i if they like actually fit all of my horses um but yeah i was getting upset at the uh, rug situation luckily cater quick came to my absolute rescue a damsel in distress and they said meg we can send you a washing machine and here she is so today She's, uh, she's having her first wash. We've got some numbers lined up for her there. We're then going to take all the rugs down, sort them out, decide which ones need washing, which ones just need Hobbit to give them a little brush. This is Katie, by the way, guys. <laughs> Katie helps out with a lot of mucking out, bless her heart, and uh, she also isn't scared oh, of spiders, so have she's come. Look at this service. I've only just That's arrived. mighty. Oh, wait, that's mighty. <laughs> Thanks, mummy. <laughs> anyway, yeah. It's a big... This is Hobbs I've just nicked. That's cute. Sorry, Hobbs. It's a big organisation y vlog, is what we're doing today. So, yeah, enjoy it, guys. I've also got some little things from the range here. I'm going to organise my brushes. I think this might be a two parter. Katie, you just have to press off on that because I can't do it with the tea. <laughs> Bye, guys. Okay, so we are going to start with getting every single rug down. Hannah, please. <laughs> Literally, I'm a geographer. I have some respect. Um, yeah, take it away, girls. Okay, so don't say that we're not giving the uh, Katie Wash a true test because look at this. We're not going to wash every single one, 
because you know it'll be 2030 by then. <laughs> but we'll pick the right, pick the muddiest and the dirtiest. They can do it can do indoor rugs, outdoor rugs, summer sheets, bandages, head collars, numbers. We were going to put our trainers in, weren't we? We've got oh, my we were, trainers yeah. at home. Can I put these in? I have they're leather. But you can do all your watery washing as well. I've got you do I'm, leather. I'm tempted to do the bed sheets and things. I mean, I don't know if I'd do the bed sheets, Mum. Not after you've put the bed sheets. <laughs> you do the bed sheets. Maybe, maybe the bed sheets now. This is the uh, aftermath under here. Uh, yeah, right. So I think we should maybe start with some numbers, just as a little ease the washing machine into it, bless her, before we uh, put that massive pile of rugs in. Oh my, what? Oh God, there he is. Okay, so we're about to put some numbers into the washing machine. We are also going to task Katie spider lady um with going through these we're going to brush the worst off because obviously you know it's good to reduce any dust and hay and hair going in the washing machine it does have a little filter guys that you should be changing weekly just a little warning um yes yeah, so we're going to brush through all of these organize what we want washing what's going to go to the rug charity and what is clean enough to go back up on there and then we will be cleaning that okay three two one Right, so guys, we found some, some more rugs actually. Meg, Meg, more. We found some little rogue, oh. rogue rugglings. Not more. Oh, 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 oh. Absolutely stink. Oh, hello. Let's hello. Get, your, um, get your nose and ear hand, just have a little. I just want you to describe that for me, that smell. <laughs> That's a lie. Describe with a cough. Uh, let me let me describe it. Hang on. You know when your horse what? is on um is sweating, but they've got the fly rugs on in the summer because they're all sweaty. Yeah. And you know that black, like it goes all black, like the on the fly rug. Smell that. That's what it smells like, but guys. Almost like, like it's had some parmesan. Then. <laughs> yeah, like cheesy some parmesan. There's two on there. Oh my god. Also, top tip, guys. If you're putting your rugs over the uh, stables, you should put this bit, like with the tail bit, on this yeah. side, so That's that you can. Tip. You can't do that because otherwise a horse could do that. Get his, so they can't get the legs in and also it should always be that side down. Mm. These shouldn't be up. But this rug's just come off Dora, so, so anyway. we'll let it slide just this one. This is only this one, a so. bad example, so don't look at that one either. Okay. <laughs> anywho, anywho. So yeah, we're getting all these. Oh, there's another rug there on that door. Oh, God, guys. Right, hang on, hang on. I can't begin from head to Meg. Sorry, what? <laughs> Sorry, what? Look at this. Oh, Katie's found another one. Oh, I didn't know that one. Um, Megan's got a problem. So if we could just send her to like rug anonymous, what's it? Rug anon, yeah, that thing. If we could just send her there. Rug addiction anonymous. I can't even speak, guys. Yeah, if we could just send her there, that'd be brilliant. Thanks. Oh, there's another one. I don't say nasty things, do I? So there are extra than this, guys, but she's not put on the pile because they're actually clean. And there's also extra because there's a couple of horses out and about and they've all got rugs on too. <laughs> okay, bye. Guys, she kidding her? I need to fix the trunk. I've got a new trunk. It's part of the video. Okay, well, we need to get these rugs out then if it's part of the video. No. Okay, so we're going to fill up the washing machine for its first wash and I've chosen some lovely white numbers, which are, I say lovely. They are absolutely dirty right now, but I'm hoping, hope, hoping, hoping that the cater wash is going to get them sparkling white. Just a quick heads up, guys. You're going to want to get yourself some pony detergent. This is designed to like break down soil, grease, hair. It's going to be a lot better than like the normal little Tide pods that you'd chuck in that's your, really clever isn't it I like isn't that. it just and it's also got a little key for, for oh, hard for like, and soft water like how much you want to put in oh that's good isn't it lovely so without further ado let's pile these numbers in oh that hurt <laughs> <laughs> okay so first up we've got a pure number in she goes into the drum 18 kg of pure goodness we've got my gallop and glory number this one especially dirty, I think it's fresh from Victon. That's really bad that I've not washed it yet. It's nice. Gonna go ahead and turn her into that, and we're just gonna layer her. Why have you turned her inside there. out? 
So yeah, dirty on the inside. So that's that's very maybe. clever, yeah. yeah. Yeah, very, very clever. We've got a Shire's Equestrian dressage pad. That's just dirty everywhere, so that will just... We'll let the machine decide. Which way it's going to go. <laughs> We've got my Voltaire Design puffy pad. Really dirty. I mean, that is quite frankly. <laughs> Disgusting. Sorry, Voltaire Design. And I'm going to go ahead and mush just one last one in, which is another Voltaire Design dressage pad. Mum's going to get angry. But we're going to try and see if we can get five numbers in here. Five numbers, guys. I we'll personally think that's I fine. mean, trial and error. You've, you've got to just it try and see. It is trial and error. Like, you've got to leave a little bit of room for activities. Exactly. I mean, look at that. Look at that spin. Yeah. Right, let's try and error. Let's and see. Cross our fingers. We're going to pretend that it's towels. I'm going to speed it up a little bit because I'm excited. Change the temperature a wee bit. And maybe a medium spin. Yeah. Medium spin. Right, so an hour and eight minutes. And our numbers should be ready to play. For you though, guys, it'll be a couple of seconds, you lucky little... You lucky little devils, you, yeah. eh? Oh, I'd say a medium soiling is what we've uh, yeah, what I'd we've experienced. So. Show us what we're doing. Which bit do we put it in? I think the big bit. Okay. This is where I need my mummy. Time to pour our deodorant in. Ooh, deodorant. Ooh. Detergent. <laughs> <laughs> in you get. <gasps> Don't you dribble her. Don't you dribble her. You're... Do you think that's enough? I can work out how much I need with a measuring jug, but quite frankly, I'm too excited. Let's go, let's go. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, woohoo! She says you're locked in. So this is, um, welcome to the rug tax shop. This is where you can, oh, well, every single one of you can come and buy your rugs. That's how many rugs we've got here, girls. Every boys. single one of you. <laughs> okay, rug organising going very, very well. Katie, could you talk us through what we've got here? Uh, we've so got... here we have the washing pile. <laughs> oh, I was afraid of that. Rugs. Here we have the sort of semi-clean stable rugs. Okay. To go back on the peg. Thank you. And then we have the semi-clean turnout rugs to go back on the peg. And then here. That's kind of like. To to charity, charity rugs. Charity rugs. Charity rugs. Haven't Still touched to yet, source. rugs. <laughs> okay. So while the girls are hard at work, I'm gonna sweep this disgusting bit behind the rug racks and get rid of all of this stuff that is just built up over the years. <laughs> this is really tranquilla! Excuse me, sir! Um, hand past me. What? Hand past me the witch's broom. Hannah! <laughs> okay, goodbye, sir. Have fun on your journey. There's another one here. Oh, he's a poor little spider. Oh, he's going out. You're welcome to go and get him. Oh, okay. Oh, here she goes. He is, he's on his way out. He's like, I'll oh, see you, girls. Oh, there he is. He's a flying one, that one. He wants to come back in. Oh, there's spiders in everywhere. For petal. They're horrid. Sweet you, sir. Bye Ooh, bye. He's big. He yeah. is big, isn't he? I'm just gonna say bye and then bye, if anyone wants to pick that up, they're more than well. have been organized into weights and sizes. They're gonna have a last brush, the clean ones. And then, I mean, I feel like potentially guys, this maybe was a wash candidate. 
Oh, she's angry. <laughs> so we're going to brush them, put the clean ones back up. Okay. And this pile is going to take us a little while to get through washing, not going to lie. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> this is our progress so far. These are the rugs that we've put back up that didn't need to go in the washing machine. Wash pile still going strong. So we're just waiting for the saddle pads to finish. They're not far off now, 20 something minutes. And we'll start putting these in. I'll show you guys what to do. But Katie, firstly, thank you for appearing on your first ever vlog. Very well. Katie's been working <laughs> for me since... I don't even know how April long. or May, yeah, I wanna say. And you managed to avoid it. You managed to get out of all of these videos, but not today, because <laughs> we needed Spider Woman. Um, and these we're gonna bag up, take to charity. But I think it's looking quite good, girls. Decided we're gonna do a part two to go through the trunks. Um, walk you down, guys. Down here, it's just horrendous. There are more rugs in here, more numbers. Um, but I feel like it just needs, it needs more love than just at the end of this video. So that is gonna be another organizing video. So look out for that one. Also pressure me to do it because you know I'm like, no. <laughs> I'll, uh, I won't do it for weeks and weeks and weeks and then I'll get to competition season. And they'll all still be stuffed in there all grubby. Okay, right, we'll wait for this washing machine to finish, show you the results and then start on, oh, <laughs> not even. Also Maggie. Out there to that extra one out there. I <laughs> just, just found another little little friend there on the fence. He wants to be washed as well. All I can say is it is a blimmin' good job that we've now got this beast to wash all of our rugs because it would have never got done before. Oh, also, Robert Whitaker has a uh, Cater Quick. Carter Quick? Cater Quick has a cater quick washing machine, which I thought was quite cool. We're just folding up the rugs to go to charity, popping them in pure feed bags. And Han has just come out of nowhere with this TikTok hack of the century. Careful, because there's <laughs> big spiders still, man. So <laughs> Hannah, let's have a look. Night. Han, let's get off TikTok. Yeah, you're actually doing something. So, you're okay. glad I'm on TikTok now. Okay, so first guys, I'm undo the fillet string. Undo that, just to make it easier. Makes it so easier. Tuck his little bottom in. Tuck his bum in. And then you want to fold him over like that. Like that. And then keep him out like that. Okay. okay. Like that. Fold the front bit out. You'll find out later. And then fold him over as well. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And again, get him out, okay? Get him out. Like that. <laughs> Just like that, guys. Kind of like, like, like an angel. Like See that? that? Okay. And, and then, then it doesn't really matter what size you fold him, but just fold him up like that. I'm gonna fold him again actually. Yeah, you're gonna squish him in one more time. Squish him in like that. Beautiful, beautiful. And, and then, get. wow. Like that, you zoom up. Like that. I mean. And then you go, oh, it's fine. When words are said, we'll regret. I can see the fight that we made just to save us. When we try to make up for never letting go, said the things we promised not to say, then we break up just to start all over, even though we know this is the hard way. Better. We can't be hard. Guys, she's all done. Oh, the crisp whiteness. Okay, right, let's go. Oh, we started with literally the one that was the absolute worst. Wow, that's done a pretty good 
pretty good oh, job. Wow. I mean, given that that is fully stained on there, that's the most that's it's really ever gotten good. out. So I'm just going to pop them on here. Hang that's them up really to dry. Dry as one. Looking good. Oh wow. Do, 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 do. Show us the insides. Boom! Oh wow, look at that. Look at the hay there. Would you look at that? Oh, I'm really impressed, I am. I'm really impressed. And also, managing to do five in one. And these are yeah. like, some of these are my old numbers. They're pretty... Pretty stained. Pretty stained! Uh, this one I think I've had pretty much since I started being sponsored by Pure. It's still pretty clean. Beautiful! Very impressive. Right, time for a ruggy rug rug. The 18 kg cater wash can wash up to a seven foot heavyweight outdoor rug, which is a lot. Like that's a big heavy rug. My girls wear six foot, just for reference. So we're going to start with this grim indoor on top. Um, as you can see, nice encrusted with little poos and dust and yeah, that's the before. We'll pop her in, we'll show you the after. You show, do... is it, what's the inside like? Lift oh, the inside yeah. there. Might be a bit white in there, mightn't it? Oh, it's actually oh, not yeah, that no, bad that's on the inside. Clean. It's just very smelly. Um, you do need to make sure that you do the rug up just so things aren't clattering around or getting like wrapped around and caught. I'm really excited for this. I don't think this rug has ever been washed. Big rug. This is, I don't know if this is six or six three. It might have been Lara's. Wow, nice and roomy in there. If you can see, it's quite dark. Yeah. <laughs> so I've stuffed it in. Now, indoor rugs, you can just put on. Oh, oh dear. You can just put in with the uh, normal detergent. Outdoor rugs, we'll explain later how you do them. Right, let's pour this in. I need to get a, I need a cone <laughs> or a funnel. It's a bit on the floor there. Right. So what do we put her on? I'm going to do what I did last time because that worked really well. Wake up! She's like, what? I just <laughs> literally just. She's not bulky work. though. Oh, she's heavy duty. But she's not heavy duty, is she? I don't know. She's quite grim. She's really like greasy. Okay. Greasy. Um, can you speed wash heavy? Oh, perfect. Um, okay, let's, I don't know what temp. Should I just go warm? I'm gonna shrink it. You, I don't think you're gonna shrink it, honey. I'm not a very good washer. I think put it on hot. I'm not gonna spin it too much, because I think, you think hot, really? Well, she's just got a lot of, you need to get all that debris off her. Okay. Oh God. If that comes out of Shetland rug. Be I like it. <laughs> okay, right. Good luck, Boo. Wait, oh, I just why did I press off? power? <laughs> Sorry, luckily she was like, no, you don't mean that. Okay, bye. You've seen days of washing guys with random clips of footage, but I've managed to get the rug pile down so much. I've moved them all over here. So this is all I've got left to wa wash. Um, it's, I think it's all outdoor rugs, if I've done it correctly. But I want to have a quick talk to you about what you need to do with the outdoor ones. And I'm gonna use Teddy Bear's Flamingo rug as a demonstration. Um, yeah, I don't know if you can actually tell it's a Flamingo rug. It is rather, yeah. rather dirty. <laughs> there we go, yeah, you can see it there on the one bit that's not too grubby. Um, but I'll hold it up for you and show you what it's like. Wow. Pretty grubby. But the important thing for outdoor rugs is that they need reproofing. Obviously you want them to remain waterproof. So what you have to do is send them through the washing machine as usual, using your normal detergent. Also, I actually found a jug for it, which has made things a lot easier. Um, and then you need to let it do that wash and then put it back in 
with a reproofing solution, which you can get from Cater Quick. Um, just on a quick wash, but you've got to have washed it first because that can't stick to mud, so it needs to go on a clean rug. I'm gonna put like mum and mine, my coats in there. Um, so like you could literally put it straight in on coats because they're not muddy, but horse rugs, they need a wash first. So I'm gonna quickly do these up. Okay, she's ready to go in. A last look at the before. I've honestly been in awe of how my other rugs have come out. Like everyone that comes out, I'm like, mum, look at this. In she goes. Oh my God, that stinks, that rug. I've oh, got a real waft of it then. Bear, you're a dirty pony. <laughs> okay. They get all damp, don't they? Yeah, it's like damp and dirty mud. Got horse wee wee on. Sorry, washing machine, that's your problem now. Okay, heavy duty for sure. Extra heavy, I would say so. Hot, high. We'll see her in a bit. Fingers crossed. We collide, we break down. Caving in to our doubts. Faces fear. When words are said, we'll regret. I can see the fire that we made just to save us. When we try to make up for never letting go, said the things we promised not to say, then we break up just to start all over, even though we know this is the hard way. Before I go ahead and wash the next outdoor rugs, I thought I'd quickly show you guys how I've been drying them. So it's actually been not very nice weather when I've been doing this vlog. So normally I would just put the rugs outside and I've done that a little bit on nicer days. But when it's disgusting weather, like it is outside really, and it's about to get dark, I've been popping them on stable doors and then kind of just propping this bit up there, you see, with a broom. And it, they dry within like about a day of doing this. I just sling them anywhere I can, like sometimes over the bars, over the doors, wherever I can fit them. And yeah, they actually dry like within a day of like natural drying. Maybe one day I'll get one of those really nice heated rug racks and then they'll dry like in an hour. Yeah, it's been very easy to get them dry and get them hung back up. Okay, on to the outdoor rugs. Not too many more to go now. The fire that we made just to save us When we try to make up for never letting go Said the things we promised not to say Then we break up just to start all over So I've got my red rug in there. This one is just a kind of lightweight waterproof one. I'm not sure what size that is. It might be a 5'9". Anyway, it's really not taking much space up in the washing machine. So I'm going to put some head collars in. So in this bag, you'll have seen, I've got three head collars in there. They're absolutely minging, like so 
filled with grease. I said bag, I mean hay net. <laughs> Basically, if you pop them in a net, then it just stops like them clonking around too much and flying all over the place. Same applies, make sure all of the buckles are done up. I think I figured out like the tighter you do the buckles, the better, there's just less, you know, things flying around basically. So I've put them in there, I'm gonna chuck them in with the rug Ooh, and then let the machine work her magic. Oh, can't really, there we go, just about squeezed past there. All right, girl, let's fill you up. We collide, we break down, caving in to our doubts, faces filled with sadness, when words are said, we'll God, it stinks. This is the definition of heavy. Righty ho, so, so many days have passed throughout the filming of this vlog. Honestly, I feel like seasons will have changed outside because I've just been so slow with it. That's an exaggeration, but still you can actually hear the washing machine whirring in the background because I found another really disgusting um, rug to wash. So that'll be on Instagram. Anyway, my beautiful chest I bought from B&Q that I think I mentioned on here, that arrived flat packed, has now been built thanks to lovely Peter. However, it's become a dumping ground for all of the clean rugs. So I'm gonna go through that and fold up all of my kind of sweat rugs, fleeces, show rugs, and they are going to live in there. It's the same as the one I've got for my numbers down that end of the barn. So they're very, very good. I really like them, but yeah, I'm gonna go through this big pile now. And then I've got some other rugs to hang up on our rug rack. And then we're finally, actually getting there the rest of the barn is a tip though because vlogmas filming is well and truly underway and uh, yeah this is tinsel tinsel everywhere anyway let's tackle this big ugly pile so much is in there it's not just rugs wish me luck darling you shouldn't be there you can live in there you can live here you can live here Yeah, how did you get in there, you naughty little thing? I've attempted to fold you, have I? No, I haven't. I did. Keep on moving down, girls and boys. Oh, I've forgotten how to fold you. No, I haven't. Have I? No, straps. No, don't. Right, hang on. No, I've got it. I've got it. Have I? It was like, fold that in there. And then fold that out there. Yes, we're on it. We're on it. Fold this in here. All right, all right, all right. Why do I look so fat, though? I don't comprehend, eh? It's not looking good. Not gonna lie, guys. The folding is a lot of effort to do it all like this. So there's the proof that I can do it. And I'm just gonna do the old fashioned, twist them all right. 
Don't judge me. Is Jimmy here to go properly? Yeah, beautiful. Have it dirty again. Oh, well. You, sir, can come up properly. Uh, mm, you can probably come in here if you want, mate, if you're going to behave. Lift yeah. Ooh. Ah, right, the riding thing is making you somewhere. Easily accessible. No. Excuse me. Why are you so difficult, you rugs? He's not popped the back bit in the fat. <laughs> okay, so chest mostly complete i've got neck rugs here then like kind of sweat rugs there oh there's another one i need to put in um and then fleeces then my god i really gave it like a swap my um like quarter rugs for riding out in and then i thought what i do is have some like everyday pads in here because i keep my other saddle pads or my all my saddle pads down there at the minute but Firstly, it is bursting from the seams. Like, I've got too many to fit in there. I'm having to put a lot in the lorry. Um, but secondly, a lot of them are like white ones and they're hard to get to. So I thought I'll have everyday ones in here. Can't even get the camera angles right. So then they're easily accessible and they can just be chucked straight in the washing machine and then put back in here. Um, but Peter, I've got a complaint. Not that you're watching. You've not popped the whole of that back bit in, young man. Look at that. Spiders are going to crawl through there into my nice rugs. No, he's useless. Right, guys, I'd love to continue filming, um, but Mum's making me ride now, so see you in another four days, probably. Okay, so one thing I've not shown you how to do, which is imperative, is changing or, or emptying the filter down here. So, obviously... Obviously, <laughs> we're washing really greasy, muddy, hairy rugs and the washing machine gets all of that off and I don't know, pumps it down here. So you do have to remember to empty this weekly or if you're doing like loads of heavy rugs, like I've been washing up to five or six rugs a day, guys. Like I should be doing it every day if I'm keeping that going. Anyway, I'm gonna show you how to do it. This is probably not the best way to do it, but I just use something thin. Gosh, I should get I should get a better utensil than that. Don't use a knife. So you pull that down, get yourself a jug or something, and you're just gonna wanna pop that down. There's a little handle to twizzle. And it's all about timing here, because you do risk getting all of this all over your hand. Oh, I can feel it coming. Ah! Okay, right, collect some of that water. Hang on, I'm just gonna brave it. Oh, I just, I spilt the jug. Oh, 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 I missed it. <laughs> that was a terrible demonstration. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you can see, look at that lovely, yummy hair. They're just, look at that. Delicious. And then if you're feeling nice, you just give a little sponge out. That's really not that bad though. You can see I've been quite good at emptying this. So then you just pop that back in. Super easy. Make sure it's twizzled up, otherwise you're gonna get dribbles. There we go, fish, bash, bosh. Okay, so now I've emptied the filter. I'm going to empty the washing machine. Now, you guys are gonna be like, Meg, you've already washed that. I'm gonna come clean. This video has been going on for about three months, but I have made my way through at least 50 rugs. So, you know, swings and roundabouts. But this was washed at the very beginning and then Dee Dee's been having it on for pajamas. Snuck a little towel in there as well. Um, and she laid in her poo. So I thought, you know what? It's just so easy to use. I can literally just pop it straight back in the washing machine. And look at her. Oh. Never going to get tired of looking at these rugs come out. Also, my new drying technique is a clothes rail. It's like 10 pounds from Amazon. And then just pop the rugs out. They actually oopsie, come out quite dry. I would say, Pete, just give us a dry test on that, but you've got gloves on. Like, it's got a very good spin, so it won't, like, that'll probably take 
an hour to dry here, dry here in the doorway, I'd say. But yeah, pop it on this, pop it in the doorway or pop it outside if it's not raining. Bish bash bosh, Bob's your uncle. Lovely towel ready for my shower when I get back tonight. Delightful. You're not using that, are you? It smells good? I mean, it smells good enough to use, it's not gonna lie. <laughs> This is going to be the end of this video. There is still a lot of yard tidying to do. However, I'm quite impressed with how it looks compared to the start, to the end of this video. The trunk has made a massive, massive difference. It's so nice having all of my fleeces clean and ready to go to shows in there for later on this year. And the biggest improvement has to be the wall of rugs. I can actually get a rug down now without completely freaking out about spiders because they are so much cleaner and also more organized. I mean, if I talk you through guys, we've got our lightweights over here. So they're kind of organized in sizes. So in theory, the biggest size is at the bottom or, and the smallest is at the top. Unless I've got like three heavyweights that are six foot, then they're all on the same hook to make things easier. But yeah, so I've got my lightweight, a couple of medium weights. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is actually out of order, but wasn't this? One of the best results, Teddy Bear's Flamingo Rug. You literally couldn't even see it was printed before we put it in. And now you can see every single flamingo. Um, yeah, if we go down here, I've got my heavyweights with their necks. There's, there's quite a lot of those. And then we've got some heavyweights without necks here. And then at the end, I've got my indoors, which have actually gathered a bit of dust now. They're like the under rugs for indoors. And then the over rugs, oh my God, another firm favorite. Hang on, let me just dig through here. This was another, this is probably my favorite indoor before and after because it was disgusting. It was one of those rugs that was like cardboard. And I think like, I can't remember how long we've had this for, but as long as I can remember, it's kind of been on the yard. And I just always assumed it was like a really stiff, horrible old rug. And then we washed it and it's like, it's like a new rug, honestly. It's so soft and malleable now. So they've been wearing that again for pajamas, which is good. Sorry, I just need to make that look pretty again. This is also a lovely, lovely before and after. Honestly, just so, so impressed. So I do have to say a massive, massive thank you to Katie Quick for sending that amazing washing machine. It has genuinely changed my life. The rugs were so disgusting and I'd gotten into that awful habit where I was kind of just buying new rugs rather than sending them off to be washed. And now it feels like I've got a whole wall of brand new rugs. I can also confirm that the reproofer does its job. I did a hundred gram a while back and then it went out with Ari the other day and it absolutely rained it down he had another rug on underneath so he had a neck and then this hundred gram over the top absolutely rained cats and dogs and i came in took the top rug off and the bottom one was bone dry like literally not a drip had got through and it was only the hundred gram like normally a hundred gram you'd expect a little something to come through so i was incredibly impressed i've also used it on my coats and it's worked a dream on them it has just been an absolute godsend. I'm so, so grateful. So thank you so much, Katie Quick, for sending that. Do head over to their website and check out all of the machines they've got because they have got different sizes, or I should say weights. Different sizes and weights. So head over to their website. It will be linked down below. I hope you've enjoyed my barn having a bit of a mini makeover. I have got so much more to do. Before the foals are born, I want to disinfect all of the boxes and I need to organize. There's two trunks down there. So I'm not gonna let Pete film because they are pretty horrendous. But if you guys pester me enough, I'm gonna get those videos filmed because I kind of need, I need you guys to kind of shimmy me along. I'm quite bad at doing these uh, organizing and cleaning videos. No. But yeah. Hope you enjoyed and I hope you like seeing a lovely, beautiful, clean rug wall. I should point out there are a couple on the top that haven't been through the machine yet or have been worn, but 
it's been three months. Sorry, guys. Live, love, love you. Hope you enjoyed. Bye. Oh, muddy pony. Oh dear. Go on then, Didi. Let's go for a ride.